Making this build right here has gotten me 1 million VC, another free 99 overall build, and a whole 2K logo just because it is just that good. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then pause the video right now and go watch my 1v1 tournament video. And if you do know what I'm talking about, then you probably already know that this build can turn into a post score whenever it wants, push people out of the way, shoot crazy three pointers, break ankles, finish at the rim, and play great defense. So subscribe and drop a like of the video right now and let's show off some more gameplay with this build on the new 2k patch and show you how to make this build and what animations I use. So let's get into the video. What is good YouTube? It's your boy Henry aka Double H back at it with yet another banger and as y'all can see I am on my three point threat build aka my 1v1 court build aka the catfish build and yeah man this is the build I won the gauntlet with the 1v1 tournament with go check out that video if you haven't already and we're going to be showing y'all some pre-patch and post-patch gameplay of this build how to make it all my animations i use and all that good stuff if you guys want me to make more builds make sure to drop a like on the video not only that i have also won the top five event that wreck event so drop a look in the video if you want to see that video not only that i still haven't posted that free 99 overall build i won from the 1v1 tournament so drop a like on that video if you want to see that as well i'm gonna be making a ton of builds this year by the way so just because y'all see me with a new build doesn't mean oh my god double h what happened to the last build bro all my builds are good. There's no best build in 2K24. So I'm going to be making new builds all year long just because it's going to be fun and more content, of course, to see me on other builds and see what some other builds are capable of. So before we get to the 1v1 theater and play with this build, I'm going to show some pre-patch uh, gameplay of this build on the 1v1 court. But let's also hear a word from our sponsor for today's video. I'm playing an NBA 2K24 1v1 today on my phone. This video is sponsored by Backbone, a device that turns my phone into a gaming console so I can play all my favorite games like NBA 2K24 on my phone. And Backbone was kind enough to send me a package, so I decided to compare the console experience to the phone experience with Backbone. So you see, I loaded up 2K24 on my phone, I loaded up my build, went to the Gator facility, invited one of my boys who's on console, the 1v1, and I walked away from my setup with the Backbone. And I started going crazy! I made my first layup to get Green Machine, now I missed my first couple shots, but that's all good. We just had to get adjusted to the Backbone controller, and once I did... I was grinning every shot. It felt just like I was playing on a console. It literally felt the same way. There was literally like no difference. I was grinning every shot. Look at me. I'm literally 21 owing my boy who's on an Xbox Series X and I'm playing on my iPhone 15 shooting fadeaways 21 0. Make sure to click the link in the description. Get yourself a backbone device and play NBA 2K24 today. Here is some pre patch gameplay right here. Me streaming on Twitch Double H. Go check out my Twitch if you haven't already. And yeah, I was just streaking on the 1v1 court. And this was a good game. I was playing against a gold tier uh, mid range something. I, I can't remember his build, but he was like a 6 8 build. And yeah, this gameplay just like is some solid pre patch gameplay of this build. You see, I'm getting into the post. I missed my post hop shot fade. It's okay though, because this build gets bumpy. And you're going to see in my live com post patch gameplay that it does begin bumpy. But he hits the nice mid range step back right there. He gets a nice layup right here. That layup animation is really hard to block. And then right here, we get, you know, good defense. We see the mid range there. He finally misses that. We get our rebound. And he ain't touching it again, okay? Because this build can get shifty with it. This build can dribble. Look, he's leaving me open. Green! It's the second shot of the game. He's leaving me wide open. He's testing me. That's not going to work. We go to the basket. We get into the post with it. Spin off of him. Easy standing dunk, okay? Seven to four. We're getting close to our takeover. Jamal Murray, wide open three. Green, okay? That, that, that behind the back is too much. We go into the left. Easy dunk. He's reaching. I'm teaching. 12 to four. I have takeover now. Now the game is really over because he's not going to be able to guard my build. My build can get shifty with it. We have about like an 85 ball handle on this build. And it's very easy to get open on this 6 8 1v1 card demon build, okay? He's fouling. He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know how to guard this build. I've been in the post with it. I've drove to the basket. I've shot threes already. I basically scored it all three levels at this point. And now I'm fading threes and he's, as he's trying to reach at me. Like, this build can really do it all. Now he's fouling again, and then I'm kind of getting shifty with it, you know, doing some hops, doing some behind the backs, getting into the mid-range, spin, fade with a hand up. It don't matter. Oh my gosh. This build is just simply too glitchy. Behind the back, into the three green. Get him off the court. 
This build is just like that, y'all. Let's get into some post-patch live comm gamer, uh, gameplay of my first couple games after the new 2K patch. All right, y'all, we are in our first game today with my 6-8-1v1 demigod build, man. First game on today and first game of the new patch, bro. I'm locked in. We're here to show y'all more of what this build is really capable of. And we playing another six foot eight build, okay? This is a double level or nothing event. So the double levels all are gonna go crazy with this event. So this is a good event to be out. But yeah, bro, let's lock in, bro. This build could do it all, y'all. If y'all watch the Lugo Gauntlet video, if you haven't, go watch it. Y'all seen it. I can get in the post. I can shoot. I can do all of it, bro. All right, let's play defense though. Yep, 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 yep. We get back. Oh my god, he got the worst animation and I jumped on it. Okay, okay, okay. We're good. You know, first possession on defense. Y'all gotta give me a break. You feel me? Let me uh let me warm up. Let me warm up the sticks. You know, we haven't been we haven't been on today. Okay, easy dunk. Take a little two to start off. And this is losers out as well. So y'all are gonna be able to see my defense and my offense a lot in today's video. Okay, please don't tell me he's quitting. Okay, okay. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. The D. The D. Good D, good D, good D, good D. There's no way. Give me that. Come on. Yo, is he quitting? Is he already quitting? No, dude. I heard there's a glitch that all your badges go to bronze if you if if your opponent quits in season one. Okay, okay. Or in season or in this new update, bro. Because I really don't want that. Oh my god, that's a block. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Be safe out there, anyways, y'all. I heard that's a glitch, so hopefully that doesn't happen to me. Come on. I'm here. I'm here. Look at the defense, bro. I'm literally getting good contests in the paint. I'm blocking him without even jumping. And I'm bumping him out of bounds. Like, do y'all not see this? And this dude's already quitting. Green, come on. You're, you're seeing me block shots. Oh, my God. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> oh, y'all didn't see that. Okay, that's not my fault, bro. Like, there's nothing I can control with that, bro. Oh yeah, oh yeah, hold on, hold on. All right, so let's say we're boxed, even though I have like some energy. Oh, he's fouling, bro. I was about to say, we can go to the post on this build, but he's already fouling. So that's an easy reset of the possession. Oh yeah, that's an open three. That's an open three. Come on, bro. I'm one off my own mentality and I'm one grain away from heat check and heat check works in this new update. So I'm a part of rise. Heat check is actually mad over power. Y'all should switch the rise, bro. I'm telling you, I'm locked in. This dude's bumping. Oh my God, he can't get open. He actually can't get open on his 6'8". You know how easy it is to just rim run on the 6'8s? Oh my. And I just ate my own words. <laughs> Let's try to take a layup, bro. Let's try to take a layup and get this green. Yes, easy layup, right? Let's go. That's heat check. Y'all see the heat check logo, bro. That means my next shot is boosted, bro. Yo, I only have a 78.3 on this build. Y'all know this. I have no limitless range on this build. Watch what I'm about to, about to attempt with this build. We're going to see if we can do it. And I have mama. And I have mama mentality, but uh, yeah, y'all didn't see that miss rebound. <sighs> give, me, give me the ball. Okay, 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 okay. Watch this, bro. We're going to attempt it. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try it. I missed y'all didn't see that y'all didn't see that i mistimed it i mistimed it It should have been green bro okay thing that's happened to this new update that i'm gonna have to get used to i've heard a lot of people are way worse at shooting because now the timings are 69 heavily with an 88 interior defense anyways now that timings are like different because there's like no latency on the game so everyone's used to the game being delayed when now it's just like chilling oh that's great okay 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 yeah i'm gonna give you all the biggest tip with how to shoot on this new update after that for that shot right there you have to look at your player's hands don't go off muscle memory look at your player's hands in this update oh my god i get that chase down oh that would have been a crazy chase okay okay i'm just gonna shoot from out here i'm gonna shoot from out here that's green bro no limitless range bro <laughs> We just got mom mentality takeover. We shooting from Uzbekistan, bro, okay? I haven't even gotten into the post this game. Maybe we should uh, get into the post. Oh, I'm on that. That's a steal. Ooh, he's lucky he did that move. I'm here, though. You're not scoring that. There's no way. Give me that. He's back on cold. Bro needs a jacket. It's only fall, bro. It's not even winter yet. You need a jacket. Hold on. Hold on. Let's get into the post with it. Let's get into the post with it. Hop shot. Hop shot. 
Hop shot. Come on, man. This build can do everything. I have I have been just messing around this game, taking dunks and just taking open threes. Bro, I can really get to the post and like do whatever I want with this build. Hold on. We're on that. We're on that. Give me that. Another stop. I'm telling you, this build gets unlimited stops. We have heat check now. We have heat check now. Should we shoot from hella deep? Let me shoot some crazy stuff. Let me shoot some crazy stuff. Oh, see, y'all lucky it's a new patch and I don't know the timing, bro, because I'm telling you, I can green that, bro. Some of y'all watching are doubting me and, and thinking I can't green that, but hold on. Hold on. You can get into the... Oh, my. He's jumping. Hold on. He's jumping like crazy. Hold on. Hit him with a regular post fade. Oh, my God. Through the lag spike green. Call me Kobe, man. Yo, we going crazy, bro. I'm not going to lie. Should I even have missed it? I'm, okay, I think I only missed one shot that game, but that wasn't just like a full court chuck. Look at first game on the patch, bro, with new jump shot timings, new latency to adjust to, and I'm still going crazy on this build. 22 points, 9 for 12. Oh, and before I get to the next game, look at my percent of veteran, bro. I've been hawking this weekend in the wreck. Y'all need to drop a like on this video right now for more streams. And if you want me to hit top 10, I'd be streaming a lot on Twitch and on here on YouTube. So make sure to turn on notice and go follow my Twitch. It's crazy because this logo, my 2K logo would not be here without this build. And if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, go watch my logo gauntlet video. But that's kind of crazy to think about. Like the, this build really brought me some like W things, bro. You know what I'm saying? The VC, the logo, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. All right, we're in another game. We're playing a mascot six foot seven. Honestly, I might make a six foot seven. Like I have six sixes, six eights. It's gonna stop. Oh my look at the bump animations we're getting on this build, bro. And he can't even shoot the post hook. We just got a heavy without jumping on a post hook, y'all. Like, that's that gold post lockdown, bro. I'm telling you. That's that gold post lockdown. Look at this is an easy dunk. Oh my, where is he going? Like he's not even close to me. And we get a wide open dunk to start the game. I'm already 48% to take over, bro. That should that should be a steal. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. All the way. Hey! Come on. I told y'all this build is a defensive menace. I wasn't lying. Y'all thought I was lying or something? Hold on. I'm telling you that 75 perimeter defense don't affect us, bro. Oh my god, look at us. By the way, we have bronze clamps. And look at us bumping these kids around. He's already on cold. Hold on. Hold on. Let's get into the post early. Let's get into the post early. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh my. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to hit him with a drop step. Let's see if this works. Oh my. Okay. Okay. That that was bull. He, he jumped and got a steal. Y'all know that was dumb. One second on the shot clock. Oh, I missed, I missed, I missed, I missed, I missed. I missed time, I missed time. Oh my God, look at a steal though, a steal though. We're getting that takeover back up. Don't wish you worry. Self lob. <laughs> Yo, that lob was so fast. Six to zero. Give me that. It doesn't matter though. And he already graded out. He already graded out, bro. You guys know this too. AIs, especially in the one video on court, turn into prime Kawhi Leonard, prime Steph Curry. And like, so seriously, let's watch the end of this game. Since my build is a post scoring type of build, you're never going to have trouble against AIs. Like watch y'all know AIs have better defense than users. So now we're going to show my post game against AIs, bro. See, we got to, we got to get an opening. That's not a big enough opening against the AI. Hey, that's how it is. Okay. Let's just try to spin the fade. See if it works on the AI. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yo, this build is different, bro. And some of y'all NPCs are going to be commenting, oh, that's against the AI. Bro, the AI is better than most of the people that play this game, especially on defense. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, defensively, they are better than more than half of the people that play this game. Let's go. Easy dunk. Come on, bro. These AIs literally can't score on this build. I'm bumping them around. Y'all probably thought bronze clamps on this build. I don't even know. I mean, y'all see at the end of the video of the build, but y'all probably thought bronze clamps is just like such an L like thing to have on a build. Bro, clearly it's not. You know, scoring this last point on the AI is actually mad annoying, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Like they turn into literally LeBron James on game point. Anyways, we graded out one dude. We destroyed the first guy. Let's get into the next game. All right, we're in our third game and we are playing a 6-3. Okay, this should be interesting, bro. We're playing a 6-3. So I'm not gonna lie. This is a perfect representation of how dominant my build i mean y'all seen how dominant my build is against the same height of players as me in the post six eight six sevens now you're gonna see when someone tries to play me on a shorter guard like it's just not gonna be fair first possession let's get into the post let's get into the post hit him with a little a little shimmy hold on hold on fake it 
Go into the post, and we just throw them off. First possession, no takeover, nothing. And I literally throw him off of me. This kid literally looks like a State Farm Drew Holiday, bro. Hold on. Easy dunk. I'm telling you, the post spin on these guards is going to be easy. This kid's boxed. He has nowhere to go, bro. He's out of energy already. He can't even dribble. Give me that, bro. <laughs> like, I jumped late at that and still got to it. Like, I don't know what this kid's doing. He jumps and one. Watch. <laughs> and one. Come on, man. I mean, he's shooting fades on cold. Like Brody. And then he quit. Oh, my God. We broke the AI. Green. <laughs> this build is too fun, yo. All right, y'all. It is finally time to show you guys how to make this 1v1 build that I've been dominating with. And that basically earned me a million VC plus a 2K logo. So the first thing we're going to do is pick your hand. This, this is just personal preference. Jersey number, personal preference, obviously. And you're going to go point guard. Now, you can change your position. I pick point guard because usually on my builds with pass accuracy, I pick point guard because when I play with randoms and rec or events, I like to be put at the point guard position. But with this build, you definitely have more freedom with the position because this is a 1v1 build. Now, I am going to show you two different versions of the build if you want to make it the 1v1 build or if you want to make a similar build that could also play in other game modes that has a higher pass accuracy so anyways i went point guard and this build is six foot eight this is like the literally the tallest height you can make a point guard in nba 2k24 now with the weight we're gonna go 219 pounds this is the highest weight you can go before you lose that 82 speed but also you have that 89 strength still and even at minimum uh weight you get an 84 speed so you only get a minus two speed to sacrifice to get more strength on this build to be able to get some other badges that you're gonna want on this build now another thing we did was max the wingspan a seven foot six wingspan on this game is actually really really good a lot of people don't max their wingspan on 2k24 and usually in 2Ks, they, everyone just maxes their wingspan. But wingspan definitely affects your player more negatively and positively uh, this year. But yeah, we're going max wingspan on this build because we're not going to have a crazy high three-pointer on this build. So anyways, you're going to want to continue. And now let's go over the stats. And I'm going to go over step-by-step step why I chose every stat. So if you have any questions at the end and you skip to the end, well, that's why you're going to have questions in the comments like, oh, why did you do this? Oh, you should have done that, that. I'm literally about to tell you why I do everything. So the first thing I'm going to do is a 75 driving dunk. Why do I do a 75 driving dunk? Because there are, there are some very good dunk packages that are unlocked at exactly 75. Not only that, but at 73 driving dunk, you're going to unlock bronze posterizer, and we're going to have a good enough vertical to get that. Now with the standing dunk, we are going to go a 45 standing dunk. Why are we going a 45 standing dunk? Because there are two different standing dunk packages that you unlock at a 40 and a 45. And standing dunks are very good in 2K24. And and not only that, this build is going to have post control. So when you're in the post, standing dunks are going to be activating a lot, especially when you have a 45 standing dunk. And they're very important to have. If you don't have a standing dunk, you're going to get layups and you're going to get blocked a lot more often. So it is important to have a standing dunk on this build. Which brings me to my next stat, which is post control. Now, every time I made this build or showed this build on stream, people kept asking, why is the post control so high? Why is the post control so high? So I'm going to show you at the end of this build how cheap post control is. But for now, we're going to put it at a 95. And at 95, you can see the badges on the right. We get Gold Unpluckable, Hall of Fame Drop Stepper, and Hall of Fame Post Spin Technician, and a couple other badges as well. Now, Gold Unpluckable is actually a really key badge we get here because you're not supposed to get Gold Unpluckable on build 6'7 or taller. And we are 6'8 getting that badge. But yeah, Hall of Fame Drop Stepper and Hall of Fame Post spin are very good badges with this build because as you guys saw in the logo gauntlet tournament or maybe in my gameplay today when i do get clamps and i have low energy i can just go to the post and get an easy bucket where i throw someone off me or drop seven and get a wide open layup or dunk now another thing i do is i upgrade my layup to a 65 and these are the finishing stats i mean we literally upgraded everything in finishing obviously some are higher than others but yeah my finishing on this build is very good so if you think this looks low trust me i mean you watch this build play this build's finishing is insane now we're gonna go to the shooting so with the shooting i'm just gonna max my three-pointer to a 78 so anyways now we're gonna move on to the shooting now the first thing i'm gonna do is max my three-pointer to a 78 three-pointer which is gonna give me badges like silver green machine silver catch and shoot bronze agent threes bronze that i brought bronze blinders and a couple other good shooting badges now 
and silver open looks but yeah y'all saw me shoot with this build i don't be missing with this build i shoot very high percentages on this build uh especially when you get takeover with this build you're not gonna be missing i literally am fading with this build with a 78.3 we're also gonna put our mid-range to a 72 which is gonna give us silver midi magician so we have a little better mid-range now the free throw is a 53 if now y'all know in the builder if you ever use the builder the free throw is very cheap so if you want to at the end of the build you can like subtract a couple attributes somewhere and just max out the free throw to whatever you can get if you play a lot of fives but personally i have a 73 center that i was using all weekend on rec with a 25 free throw and I was greening like 50% of my free throws. Every, every time I went to the line, I would green one and miss one. So I don't know, 53 free throws is good enough for me, but I'm sure some of y'all want to have a higher free throw just so it's like guaranteed. Anyways, moving on to the playmaking. So now with the playmaking, this build is a 1v1 build. So after I'm done making this build, I'll show you the same version of the build with pass accuracy if you want to play other modes. But this build is so good as a 1v1 build because I didn't upgrade pass accuracy because on the 1v1 court, there is nobody to pass to. I already know I'm going to get comments that don't pay attention to this video, skip around on this video, and y'all are probably seeing in the comment section, why didn't you upgrade your pass accuracy? Like, I'm, it's a 1v1 build, bro. Okay, so I purposely didn't upgrade the pass accuracy to have an advantage in the other attributes. So I'd have extra attributes left over to upgrade other things. So anyways, we're going to upgrade the ball handle to an 85 with this build, giving us extra attributes. And it's going to give us other badges as well. Now, with the speed with ball, I went with a 75 speed with ball because that is where you unlock Magic Johnson and Zach Levine dribble styles which are some of the best dribble styles in the game. And as you can see, just upgrading those two things gives us a 55 pass accuracy. Now, on my future builds, I'm going to be going with a 63 pass accuracy on all my builds unless it's a fives build. Uh, and I'll tell you why in those videos, or maybe even this video when I show you the second version of the build. But yeah, so 55 pass accuracy is what we're going with because that's the lowest we can go on this build. So with the defense, we are going to start with a 75 perimeter defense. Now, I'm glad I did upgrade this the way I upgraded it because 75 perimeter defense doesn't really give us a crazy amount of badges, right? We're going to get bronze clamps with the strength once we upgrade the strength. We're going to get bronze challenger. We're going to get bronze fast feet but what y'all don't know that was tested and confirmed by 2k fast feet even though it says it's supposed to make your player faster on defense that doesn't do that what makes your player faster on defense is literally your speed attribute i don't know why that is it shouldn't be like that but that's what it is so fast feet the only thing that this badge does it stops the offensive player from getting a lot of blow by animation so 75 perimeter defense it is kind of on the lower end of most builds but it's not bad and with my other defensive stats and y'all saw me in the logo gauntlet going crazy on defense this build is defensive menace okay so next we're gonna go with a 91 steal bro a 91 steal is mad overpowered in this game you can literally tap square or x depending on what console you're on and you're gonna get a steal half the time <laughs> like you literally get so many stops with just this attribute alone okay and y'all saw me do it with this build if you watched gameplay of it another thing we're gonna do with this build we are 6'8 so we're gonna take advantage of being 6'8 and we're gonna go with an 87 block and that is going to give us silver anchor and chase down artists as well and not only that we are going to increase our interior defense so we can get that silver anchor at a 72 but we're going to push it up even more and get gold post lockdown with an 88 interior defense. This is going to help us guard centers a lot better. So at this 6-8 build, we are going to be able to guard guards and even 7-3 post scores with this build. So this build can guard any position one through five on the game. Not only that, but we are I never upgrade deep rebounding on any of my builds. But we are going to put the defense around to a 60 because we're so close to it. Just to get bronze rebound chaser, bronze box out beast. May as well get it. We're two attributes away. Now with the physicals, we are going to max the speed. This is going to make us a lot faster on defense. And it's also going to give us silver speed booster and silver hyper drive on this build. Acceleration, we are also going to max giving us silver blow by, bronze fast speed, a bunch of other good badges as well. Now with this strength, one of the most important things with this build, especially why we went 219 pounds, we are going to go with an 84 strength and look at how many badges that gives us. That gives us silver bulldozer. And if you saw gameplay of this build, the silver bulldozer does be going crazy. Hall of Fame physical handles, silver back down punisher, silver immovable forcer, 
we're also going to be upgrading our vertical to a 70 which is going to give us that bronze chase down artist and we're going to be putting our stamina to a 97 now i'm also going to show you a second version now if you want to make this build able to play in other game modes because i know a lot of y'all don't want to make a build that can only play the 1v1 core right so if that's what you want to do let's lower some attributes so like i said we're gonna have to sacrifice some things you can't really lower the close shot because it's gonna affect the post control you can't lower the layup because it's gonna affect the ball handle and we don't want to lose that 75 driving dunk oh that 45 standing dunk or the post control so we're gonna leave the finishing like it is you don't want to affect the the three point too much but you can affect the mid range that's not going to affect really anything else so you can't put the mid range to a 63 we can't lower ball handle or speed with ball because that's what we need for those badges and for those dribble animations that we have you don't really want to lower the interior defense for the goal post lockdown or really any of the other defensive attributes they're all really at the minimum for certain things but you can lower the stamina to a 90 95 and really the physicals are really good where they're at you could put the uh the acceleration to a 73 though just go to the pass accuracy and bump it up to a 63 now 2k labs is already i think it was maybe 2k toots but they tested this and 63 to 89 pass accuracy is only a 0.4 millisecond difference and i have builds with 63 pass accuracy i even have builds with 70 pass accuracy and all my comments are always like oh the pass accuracy is too low bro i have a 95 win percent on this build where my point guard build that i run threes on has a 70 pass accuracy and i throw darts i have zero issues with my pass accuracy and i am going to start making all my builds that i do have teammates on for the courts that i play with them on like if i have a twos build threes build whatever 63 pass accuracy the only way you should go higher than this is if you are playing point guard on the fives okay and if you're using this build on the fives i don't think you would necessarily be playing point guard with it uh but yeah we're gonna go 63 pass accuracy now you could go to 64 but we're gonna keep it at 63 now what you could do with the last attribute you have some options you could go in 76 per defense for bronze 94 feet you could go to the last acceleration and then uh you know upgrade the stamina to a 98 or you could just upgrade the stamina to a 99 and upgrade something else or you could do the free throw get to a 63 free throw so honestly what i would probably do is just put the perimeter defense to a 76 for 94 feet and then just put the stamina to a 97 and call it right there and then you can use this build for other uh, you know game modes as well with that simple fix and honestly that might be worth it i mean you do lose the mid range but this is what you're gonna get with that build now there i have plenty of other builds on the channel if this build doesn't fit you but i know a lot of people were asking me how to make this build so this is how you make it so i almost didn't put this in the video but this is the regular build that i made uh this is the version of the build i made and i want to show how cheap post control is because i already know my comments are gonna be spam with that so 95 post control let's put it all the way down and look at it, i'm still a 98 overall like it's super cheap let's see i'll put the dunk all the way up i only get to an 80 dunk like that's not good um let's see what i can get my vertical to like a plus 11 vertical like is that worth it no uh what's another thing the mid-range put the mid-range up 82 mid-range like bro it's just like it's only one overall difference and i go over all the way from 25 to 95 post control easily the cheapest uh stat in the builder uh when it comes to like maxing it out so let's go ahead and adjust it back to what i had it at this is what i had it at and this build comes out have shades of shy lonzo ball and magic johnson a three-point threat build kind of a catfish build and really has good shades as well now if you were to make this build today and you want to know how you should upgrade it let me tell you how you should go about that now boom just like that this is how i upgraded it rebirth wise uh now you can do whatever you want now this is the one with no pass accuracy so i'm not gonna upgrade the pass accuracy but i did do the 72 interior defense so we get that silver anchor i did max the seal for the gold uh steel badges i did max the perimeter defense and i maxed all my physicals which is, those are very important and i maxed everything on finishing except for the driving layup because we're not really going to be using driving layup nearly as much as the other finishing stuff because we're going to be either taking a dunk or we're going to be in the post taking a close shot or a standing dunk and then with the uh shooting i can shoot mid ranges with a low midi so i went with the lower midi and i maxed my three pointer and then with the playmaking i make sure i max my speed with ball for the dribble styles and then with the 83 ball handle because most of my dribble moves i only need an 83 ball handle with and it's not taking away too many badges and yeah it's a one v one core build so i don't need a crazy high defensive rebound so this is what i upgraded at first now i only have the build at 92 overall right now so i can't wait to get it to 99 overall i'm also going to give you guys a quick badge update and uh animations update so if you guys want to copy that down as well as you can see i am a goat 
notes here on this player because we don't be losing on this player you know what i'm saying so yeah this is my attributes as a 92 overall right now and honestly i wish i did max the vertical for that chase down artist but really besides that i don't really need anything else on this build but we are getting close to that next upgrade now here are my badges that i have on this build right now some badges be going up and down as y'all know but this is the update on what i have maxed out and not maxed out and shout out to my boys ignite grinders if you guys don't know who ignite grinders are they're basically a badge grinding service so if any of you guys out there do make any new builds or you have a build that you don't have your badges maxed on and you want someone to grind your badges on your xbox or playstation whatever console you're on they can literally grind your badges while you're asleep and yes they are legit they're not gonna take your account or something they are legit service i can vouch for them just hit up ignite grinders on twitter i'll put their link in the description and then here are my animations on this build if you guys want to copy it down i do use magic johnson dribble style these are the dribble pull-ups I use, all the drill moves I use. So make sure to take a screenshot, pause the video, copy that down if needed. And if you enjoyed today's video or this video helped you out at all, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and click on this video right here. This is the 1v1 tournament video, or go watch my last video I posted. It's me, your boy Henry, aka Double H. I love all y'all so much, and I'm out, y'all. Peace.